sweet. Oh, hey, Kelly. It went pretty well. I just have a little bit of a problem. Do you want to go in the library and chat about it for a minute? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. I have this student, I think she's a freshman, Missy Ng. She's been missing for like five days now. What am I supposed to do? We have an attendance policy. Just follow it to get her the support she needs. Well, I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Remember that attendance is a symptom. It's not the problem itself. We want to look at what the root cause of that attendance issue is. Find out that cause, address it as early as possible, um, and then you'll see uh, improvement in that attendance. Step one is talk to the student. Remind them that their attendance and being here is imperative for them to be successful at Penn High School. So we just talk to them and hope that their attendance improves? Let the student know you care. It goes back to the positive teacher-student relationship. Exactly. And then if that doesn't work, you simply hold a conference with the student. This conference should be one-on-one. -on -one. So during your prep, before or after school, sometime when you can talk to the, the student one-on-one. -on -one. And again, you try to find the root cause of that absenteeism. Not addressing the absenteeism itself, but finding out why. You have to dig a little deeper and find out why the student been, has been gone. I know the reason. She's sleeping in. Kylie, you're going to have to dig a little deeper then. Mm -hmm. Ask her, why is she staying up so late? Is there a cell phone in her room? Is she playing video games? Is she chatting too much on the computer? What's going on? And what's the next step? Call home. Remind the parents that we're all on the same team. Ask for their help. How can we help make their students successful? Hi everybody, I hope you enjoyed this skit. I want to be, I want to remind you here that basically we greatly appreciate you following the four step process. We really need you to do that. You know, just a reminder, step one is a warning. Step two could be another warning with a small consequence. Three is a phone home, a communication. Don't just send an email. Please contact that parent and talk with them. We find out that when we do that, change can be made. And in step four, if you are still not getting anywhere and that behavior still continues, please bring them to us. As a dean, I gotta tell you, we try to you know, basically hopefully make a safe, healthy learning environment, and also our other objective is to mend relationships and hopefully help to get that student graduated. Thank you.